Yeah. So, send that Zalia, does that sound about right? Yeah, uh, let's probably press awesome. close, send, yeah, send Dart Zalia, that sounds good enough to me. Yeah. Yeah, this is what happens when you pick up obscure languages to get your character names. <laughs> <laughs> So you have found yourself pretty much um, very, very close to Destructive Fortress Number 4. You are with your superior commander, whose name is Gertrude Schwartz, who is a hybrid Spaniard. Oh, yeah. And she has a new mission for you. And what would that be? You are to leave the Destructive Fortress and travel to the southwest because there are reports of a major spore smuggling ring, like a major burn smuggling ring from that area. Okay. And they want you to investigate. And they want you to investigate. Uh, do um, I get my uh, 1D6 worth of um, lower ranks helping me, or just by myself? Um, you can have your lower ranks, yep. Okay, cool. Uh, hey, what was the exact rules for it? Uh, where the fuck is my character sheet? I should probably, should probably get yeah, that I... out before I start this, should I? Oh, there it is. Open character sheet. There we go. Um, da, 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 da. Sorry, anybody watching. We are very, very professional. As you can see. We know exactly what we're doing. Exactly. Um, do I not have my rank stuff? Mm. Well, we have to look at the rulebook already. <sighs> Seems that way. Um... That's my equipment stuff, but yeah, I don't have any of my actual... Okay, rank details, my bonuses from that shit. Ah, da da da. Fortunately, I have the rulebook close at hand. By that, I mean <laughs> PDFs are a great thing. Everybody loves a good PDF. I'm oh, pretty sure it's just 1D6. Um, da 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 da. Uh, some character... I think I've got around 32 of those Strictus Battalions. No. Oh, hang on. Oh, here we go. Uh, Preservus. Uh, he's granted access to the arsenal, plus three resources for any weapons, warfare agents, and stimulants. May not use, but not misuse, burn unpunished. For a mission, a commando prime can allow him to draft 1D Fuminances, um, which is the one rank below me. Um, yeah, so I, okay, let's draft some for many answers. I got one. Okay, <laughs> right, so, right, 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 so, what, um, I'm going to have to generate a fucking NPC now, aren't I? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> for okay. is literally I... just the one, it's the one rank below mine. Uh, they have the, the suit that the battalions have, but they have the spear with the little mollusk thing that does that, um, that detects spores. I, I mean, I have one too, but I'm going to primarily be using my sword and pistol. Okay, I've got it. Thank you, um, NPC generator from the Genesis cluster. Oh, do they have an NPC generator? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, fucking useful. I didn't even know that. Yeah, because I was wondering how you get go about getting NPCs, because... The book only has like the super powerful shit, like the psychonauts and those robots yeah, and really, shit, and it, the sleepers. It's really not very clear. It really isn't very clear on how to like make things. Yeah, because I was looking at it, and it's like, oh, you have like all like the insects and stuff, so you get like the smallest threat, and it's like, okay, that's more of like an environmental hazard type thing. And then it's like, okay, yeah, and here's the sleepers, and here's the marauders, and then it goes into psychonauts and the robots, and you're like, all right, um. I can't throw these at a starting party because I'll get fucking annihilated. <laughs> so I don't know what to do here. And so, okay, it's, so they have an NPC generator. Well, good thing you found that because um, that's going to be useful for later. There All right. There you go. All right. Oh, hang on, I should probably show. Oh, there's nothing on the map yet, so I'll leave the map down. So I will give you another token. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, da, 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 da.
I heard people. What, 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 should, what should we call them? What do you want, um, what do you want this name for? Let's go for a Very good... Uh, we're in Belt Borka right now, aren't we? Huh? Where are we? What uh, region? No, you're in. No, you're in Poland, but with um, but this guy's French. Oh, he's French. Okay, uh, Louis. Louis. That's cool. a French name. That's Louis. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm not. I'm not making you. I'm not making myself do all the work here. If you're gonna generate fucking NPCs, you can make their names. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Where's Louis? Oh, sorry, let's just stop loading now. Ah, you're fair. Right, here we go. Ah, you come, Louis. Cool. You can be there, and you can also be... What else does he have? Ah, uh, da 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 I mean, he gets food for free, mm -hmm. but... It's not true as a medical... We call the rest of us into combat missions to order aids to train allies. It's a play over mollusk plus one other attachment. I don't even know how to do attachments, so and he gets a fungicide rifle, which I also have. Da -da -da. All right, very good. Alrighty, okay, so um, you're going to be well traveling. Southwest, as you've been asked to, it's just from the looks of this. I'm gonna to have to try and figure this out. You look like you've got about four days worth of travel. All right. Well, um, I've got a horse, so Louis is gonna to have to. Uh, he's gonna get some uh, fucking good cardio done. <laughs> yeah, he'll be good. He'll be fantastic. All right. All right. Well, well, we'll start making our way. Um, uh, should we? Well, I have no money left. Um, uh, can I requisite? I don't know how requisition. Oh god, yeah, there's all the things. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, I guess I need to requisition some some fungicides. I guess because he's got uh -huh. a fungicide yep. rifle. Fire. Okay, he's got the fire dust. Um, yeah, because obviously I've got fungus fungicide rifle as well. He's got already got fire, so he can use it as a flamethrower or chlorine gas. Um, uh, what was the name of the actual fungus fungicide one? Because I guess a canister of that or two would been would not go in this. Uh, da, 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 Arsenal, where are you, Mister Arsenal? The blazer, that's it. So, chapter 130. Oh, yeah, here you go. Splayer. Fungicide rifle cartridge. Oh, here we go. Agents. Uh, SP4016. Yeah, SP4016. So, 4016. Potency 4 using sticky. Pluses begin to cover their entire bodies. Most of all actions, takes four data. Disappear, does not stack, not suitable for uh, injector guns. Fine. Yeah, fungicide mode used mostly to fight sickness. The high sulfur contents dries out the spore fields and is air toxin stops it from recovering. The spray carpet of sepsis disappears within hours. Fungicide degrades very slowly, which prevents the emergence of new spores for the next months to years. Um, so, how, how many. Um, uses of that will I be able to uh, requisition can you can have six of those six of them all right awesome uh, I should write these down all right <clears throat> also makes people itchy which is nice um so well, that's good so six times SP four O one six. I have four times bullets for my gun. And I have a button with me. Alright, well um I turn to Lewis, I go. Uh you ha you have any other 
uh, special requests for items? Or are you good to go? I have nothing that I require. Very good. Well, we should head off now and investigate this disturbing news. I am at your command, my lady. Alright, and with that we'll make our, start making our way down. Okay, cool. I'm assuming Sorry. we have a map or something. What's that? I'm assuming we have like a map or something. Oh yeah, you have a map of the area. Hold on, I will um, I will just I will do you a solid. Oh nice, nice. <clears throat> now it's just gonna it's just gonna take me a little while, so just bear with me. Um, we'll just narrate your journey for the moment. Oh, very nice. We all do love narrations. So just while I'm uh, attempting to do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, let me remember how to like do things. So as you as you leave the destructive fortress, you can hear the pumping of the fungus of the fungicides behind you as gallons and gallons of fungicide are pumped into the pumped into the spore wall. Excellent. As hour after hour, as you uh, find yourself travelling away, you can hear it less and less, and eventually, an eerie quiet gives way. Uh, so, how long have you been with uh, the order? Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. there just a little bit to go all right <clears throat> all right uh, let me know when you're ready it's nearly there oh, okay, right, okay. here we go here we go right oh a map oh very nice so I'll bring this so we'll scroll over there. Um be able to make it much bigger. What's up? Yeah, we'll make it be yeah, bigger, bigger. Uh now you just trying to right. squeeze over it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> oh good. Oh yeah, put on the map layer. Uh, Should just better grab the corners and drag it. Go what now? Give me the fucking. <laughs> right there we go. Right. Oh, there we go. Much better. I can put our player tokens here. All right, very good. Uh, let's make all twenty visible now. All right, so I can readjust all this shizness. Oh, I'm only just figuring out how this all works. So bear with me, people who may or may not be watching, who probably aren't. But that's okay. That is okay. Maybe later. Maybe later. So I'm just going to draw points on the map as to like your your daily progress, just so okay. you know, right, roughly, like how far you're going to be able to move. Ah, uh, 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 uh. oh, runs like Kiv. Okay. So yeah. Fucking yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. 
yeah, pretty much. So, there's your first day. Where are they? Right. Can yeah. you see it or not? I can't see anything. Uh, hold on, I probably got it on the wrong layer. Maybe, you probably may have it on the DM layer. Oops. All goods. Oh, I've got somebody watching. Well, it may just be the bot again. I don't know. I can never tell, to be honest. Just in case. Right. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go in there. Good. You still so that's your blue, first day, You still have those blue squares there, by the way. Oh, yeah, hold on. I can... You can fuck off. You can fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's the end of your first day. Um, so, obviously, so you made camp and you've cooked yourself something to eat and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got cooking tools. I've got flint and tinder. I've got all all the necessary survival equipment. Even this time, this time I even have rope. Excellent. I also Fantastic. have uh, yeah. So I have a flask, cooking equipment, water filter, flint and tinder. Timmy is a rope, a blanket, a sleeping bag, a field kit. Uh, and now I'll cross my horsey. Mm-hmm. Nice. We're good. Now. So, uh, Louis, t uh, tell me about yourself. How long have you been in the order for? I have been in for about five years. Very good. What about yourself? Uh, you seem to be very well known. Everybody seems to know who you are. Yes, yeah, so I, was, I was born into the order. My parents were uh, in it, so I joined it after them. Ah, so you must have a lot of history in there, in the, in the battalions. Yes, it's a, uh, a lot has, lot, lot has happened, but it's uh, some of it was not so good. But as the saying goes, it's now water under the bridge. So what's what what happened? What happened to your parents? Uh, don't mind me asking. Well, it pretty much is the stories. If you know about me, you probably know about how we all went on to a field expedition uh, rather early on in my life, and uh, they were, they were, they were tragically killed by a by a biokineticist. That uh, that is definitely not a uh, not a good story. No. Um, yes, and that's I, I, obviously I, I, where my tale of where the rumours started spreading because I was the only survivor. But, so they all thought I was affected for some time, but none of the tests proved showed anything. So that's the that's that. So I was rather I've been rather vigilant in my pursuit against the sepsis ever since then. <laughs> Okay, well, I want you to you want me to. I want you to roll primal. Primal? Uh, do I have primal? I'm pretty sure I have the other one. Uh, yeah, no, I don't oh, have primal. I oh, focus oh. instead. Oh, I've got the wrong one. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Not primal. I want you to do perception. Ah, perception. Ah, oh, perception is uh, fucking amazing. Watch, watch the blow. Have your socks uh, blown off right here. Uh, yeah, I'm the... looking for it. <clears throat> uh, that's wrong. Other way. Uh, so you got no successes at <laughs> all. Okay. <laughs> anyway, blotch it. Um, right. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Yeah. From behind you, you hear a growl, and suddenly there is a there is a wolf on the back of um, of Louis. Oh, the fucking shit! Um, I'm guessing it's initiative time. It, it sure is. Okay, my initiative is bad though. 
Oh, that's four. Oh, uh, so that's yeah, three successes. Cool. And oh, it was Louis. Um, uh, you had a stat somewhere. Here we go. Session projector reaction is also four. Uh, he got no successes and he botched it, so I guess he goes last. Makes sense if yeah, he got a wolf up. on him. <laughs> so the wolf, the wolf goes first. Yeah. Um, so the wolf is gonna uh, is going to go for a bite. Right, fair enough. Which is a, a lovely. Uh... Let's just make sure we've got this right. So that is yeah. five successes and two crits. Yeah, so lots of that bonus damage there. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Fuck, how do I do this again? Uh, what's the base damage? Um, 1d6. All right, 1d6, and it is you use uh, 1d6. Shouldn't it be? It should be a flat number. Oh, sorry. No, it's one. Um, I'm... For the damage, for example, my sword does. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, oh 1D, uh, which means it's 1D, which means it's one something else damage. Yeah. What's D? For example, my seven plus, my sword does seven damage plus half my force. Oh yeah. Yeah, one D will be um, it will have a bonus or a negative to it, the handling. Oh, okay. So that's um. Oh, that's to do with fucking, um... Oh, man. Have I fucked this up already? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Jump up to combat. Um, uh, what was page was on combat on? It's all right. Uh, battle 104. 104. Conditions, yeah. You go and get fertilization, blah blah blah. Oh, that's right, you can spend ego points to get more dice rolls. That's right. Let's just go with gun processes. And so since actions for initiative zero. Number of actions is one action per two triggers, yeah, don't know that. Yeah, highest got into last, obviously. Fifth actions, free actions, movement. Um, body plus athletics, yeah. That's all. Da da da. I should have had him go into active defense when he got attacked. Although I guess this is sort of like a surprise round type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole actions, interactions. Blah, blah. Okay, weapons, yeah, handling. His how can I feel the qualities. Oh, okay, so it's a black into blades are. Okay. Um so does it have, so damage will be, yes, this will take because it's damage for most weapons. It's a set score for weapons using physical force. It will be, you'll find F, F slash 2 or F slash 3. F says how body plus force and the sum divided by the respective number. Body with 2 plus F2 and has a casual body plus force 8 or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, encumbrance, I'm, I'm fine for that. Um, I 
fucking wolf. Okay. Well, I, I don't know the stats for a wolf, so I can't go and see what it is for you. What is it that you've got? You've managed to pull up. Uh, what what did you want to know? Sorry, the. Yeah, I... what is? I'm just trying to work out how the fucking damage works. It will gone. be um. So since it's a physical, it will have damage, um, and then it will say so it will have a number plus F. Or it will say F divide by two or F divide by three. Um, I, 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 I do, obviously I can't see it in front of me, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what it says, so it's a little hard just to gauge it. Genesis. Right, so I've got. Hold on. Let me see if I can find. Um, it's in the um. Where is it? I know. Oh, 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 oh. Send me a link. Send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, you just sent it to me like that. Okay, so... Pack time to have it. Defense. To get... Oh, and I must get plus one to active defenses. Attack. Bite D6. Damage 1D. So yeah, I guess it just does a D6 of damage. Oh yep. But then what are the oh, and how do the triggers work again? Uh, the triggers, it has to have a special. I think it has to have a special rule for it to um, for it, any triggers to do anything. Uh, so if I go to Blaze, I set all the rules for that. There. Um, da, da, da. For example, the uh, splayer, which is the spear we have, has um, the cutting two trigger. Which if I go mm. down, 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 down. Oh, god damn, there's so many. Yeah, so I just, it does 5d5s five anyway. Yeah, impact trigger. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, if, if, uh, so yeah, I'll have like a rule. Uh, for example, impact, so like hammers, weapons heavy and um, and worthy. Hands are opposed to all destruction. The fighter may only gain. Da, da, da. Uh, if he has at least nine you know, triggers, what's a cutter? I should probably look at what my weapons have. It's cutting, wasn't it? Alright, right. Oh, right. uh, here we go, here's the damage. Alright, uh, yeah, once I just get 13. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Uh, no, I think it, no, it's, I think it's the damage one where it says 1d6. Because that's a shit ton for 13, because it has attack, bite, d6, damage, 1d. So I'd assume the damage is the damage. The D6 will be the actual attack. Oh, like okay, how many rolls yeah. to make? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm confused now. Yeah, I'll yeah. Confused myself. <laughs> two, so he's taking oh, two, okay, damage. two damage. His armor's two, so I yeah, completely negates it. Mean. That makes sense because it's. I mean, it's a wolf. It's not like it's attacking us with a gun, which does like no yeah. damage. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so so that's negated. Uh, then I guess I guess my turn since I'm next highest on initiative. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, uh, I'll draw my sword and take a swing. I think uh, I have no handling disadvantage or advantage. Fuck, I'm running out so high. <laughs> uh, so one, two, three, four, and then five. So I've got to nine. Nine. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of die. Oh. Oh, only three successes though, but that's still enough to hit, I'm guessing. Since it's not yep. That. Yep. Alright, so it ideal. I just said what it was. It's 7 plus force divided by 2. So 7 plus my force is 6. So 7 plus 3, so you do 10 damage. Mm hmm. Cool, it's um, very injured. Yeah, uh, hang on. What's my. Should I use my special move actually? Um, what was it? Where, how, where do I see my privileges? Ah, oh, did I have to search in the book? Yeah, search exact matches, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The technique, there we go. Preservatus, uh, comes down by the enemy. Serenity, they attack for the walls. It's only used to fight to destroy, blah, blah, blah. Use the fortress, I don't know, but it's the preservatus, so... 
one of the enemy's defense and away from forcing the opening because he's moment to be around the pistol now of hand. The enemy's guts pull the trigger. A successful attack with a sword. The next attack provisions next attack roll gets minus three. Of hand lean. Attack exceeds five shot for the line. So now yeah, that's the then. Ah, oh, it's the next attack roll. Okay, no, no, I don't want to worry about that then. Alright, so I'll just attack that and then I'm guessing it's his turn. Uh, yep. I'm guessing he's sort of currently grappling the, the what's it called the uh the wolf. Uh, the, yeah, the wolf the wolf has grappled him, so he needs to break free. Yeah, and I'm guessing that's like body plus brawl or something like that. Yep. Uh, what was his stats again? Uh, let's go over here. <sighs> brawl, brawl, brawl. He has no brawl, so it's a straight body, which is only two. Ooh, shh. that's not good. Why does he have two forces? Okay. He has force of 5D, 5D and then he has force 4D. Mm. That's... Oh, no, that's not force of noise, brawl, so he doesn't have any brawl from what I can see off the top of my head. So he's just doing 2D6. Two. Oh, I okay. Right. Two successes. Well, yeah. well he succeeds. All right. Um, I'm guessing yeah, that's yeah, a, I'm guessing that's his turn. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then we all. Which re means the wolf. Uh, don't we all re-roll the initiative at the end of turns? Yeah. Yeah. You sure do. So he's got. I'll roll myself first. Ooh, only one success. I oh, don't no, two successes. So I don't botch. Good. Uh, don't get two triggers though. And him, fought the three successes. Okay. And that got um, one yes. success. Okay, so um, he might as well, well, obviously he goes first, so he'll draw his Slayer and attack. Uh, what is the damage on that bad boy? It is... Oh, yeah, one is one handling. What's his attack? Oh, yeah, they're four d dice. Okay, so good, I don't have to change the dice. Uh, so he got two successes. Mm -hmm. Uh okay, so he's active. So two is so he need, yeah he needs two to hit us, or does it have does it have, does it have any defensive bonuses? I don't it's know. It's got one one has one passive defense. That's and it. then it's active, so it gets plus one more. So yeah, it still hits. Uh, but it's mm. minimum damage. What's his damage on that bad boy? Uh, do do do. Yeah, one yeah. Uh, two. Two, oh, two meters. Oh yeah yeah. So range. Uh, damage just six. All right. Was that six damage? Yeah, six damage. Your wolf is dead. Nice. Uh, I go, I go after Lewis, and I'm like, "You injured at all?" Let's see. He's not. <laughs> He's just, ah, uh, oh, I'm a kick care of it. Oh well, it looks like we're going to have dinner for the next couple of days here. We might as well get to skinning it and uh, trying to cook up the pieces, I guess. Chuck it into the stew. Okay, cool. But um, before before we do stew. that, before we do that, uh, I'm going to look it over for any signs of an um, infection, infestation from sepsis. Would that be medical or survival, just to look for the sepsis? Um, I'd say it'd probably be medical. All right, sweet. So that sucks. I'm not bad there. I um, might as well call him over to aid me in such endeavours. Uh, yep, yep. Um, uh, what's his... Uh, his been, of course, probably... Six as well, I think we're both six. He's got six, yep. Alright, so we both roll. So just just roll all, all 12. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I did it there, so yep. five successes. <laughs> okay, yep, five successes. Um, two critical failures, two critical successes. Yeah, sweet. So um, the wolf has no sign of sepsis, and you, you're very confident of that. Okay, cool, Laz. Alright, well, uh, I guess in survival. Um, what's his survival versus mine? Mine's shit, so. Uh, his look, also looks to be shit. Um, so, uh, does he have a higher instinct than me, though? Let's see. Instinct, instinct. Yeah, it's the same, so let's do all work together as well again. All right, two successes there. Awesome. So, cool. So you have 
you know, skin, you've skinned the wolf, you now by the proud owners of a wolf pelt. Oh, fantastic. And you have also freed up enough, well, collected and about 10, 10 kilos of meat, roughly, Ooh. from this wolf. Um, obviously, I might as well put it through my cooking kit and uh, yeah. so you know, want to... dry it or something. Turn some... You're going to, yep, and you're going to cook it to also make it so you can take it with you or? Yeah, yeah. Might as well put some, like, around the edge of the campfire so it dries off. Yep, cool. So <laughs> you're going to make your stew, and then you've got your rest of your meat, which you're going to cook, which means you... Uh, I'm going to say you've now got about five kilograms worth of provisions. Okay, so I'll get rid of the 10 kg of meat, plus 5 kg uh, wolf jerky. Yeah. All right. And... Four. Yeah, between the two of you, I'm gonna say that you're gonna eat 500 grams a day, so you've essentially got 10 days worth of food. Yes, we yes. Uh, unless you manage to find anything else on the way, you know. Eat it. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. So. There's a scene down. Uh, I'm guessing. Next day. Hey. Day two. Yep. Day two. So you're gonna. Um, You are going to uh, cross the river. All right. And you're going to find yourself over here today. <clears throat> Very good. Which? How would you like to proceed? Uh, well, what's what, what's in front of me? You you've essentially opened walked into a vast grassland. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We are in uh, we are in uh, Ukraine. Um, well, I guess if we're in the middle of a grass field, is there any, like, any nearby, um, like, uh, landmarks that I, like, you know, right, a hill or a ruined building or something? There is a small settlement. Oh, okay. Just here. Small settlement just here. Uh, how 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 long would it take to travel there? Um, that's about they're about half. Both of these are about half a day's worth, like half a day's travel from your current location. Okay, so we'd actually have to spend the next day traveling. Um, any like in the immediate vicinity, like a building or a like an elevated position or or the opposite, a a galley or something. Sorry, a what? Is a galley. Yeah, so there's like any like any gullies or a hill, just like any terrain features other than grass plains. Um, sort of well, other than the other than the rivers that are beside you. Yeah, other um, than that, like an immediate facility is like you know like thirty minute walk. Mm, not really, no. Oh right, well, I guess here's is a good place to set up camp until tomorrow. Um, what what time is it at the moment? Sorry. What time is it at the moment? Uh, it's about 8 p.m. now. 8 p.m. And uh, what is it like dark or is it only going dark? It's well sunset now. Sunset now. Okay. So they're in summer. I'm guessing summer. Yeah. But it, yeah. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna rest. So you rest for the evening. You've had another half kilo of food. Yeah. And well, okay, where do you want to go from here? Um. Well, so on top of my horse, I, uh, do I, what, what's the, vi any visual difference between the two towns that I can see immediately? Um, the first you can see is the size, like, but they're uh, both essentially, um, well, what you describe as, as, um, new, new forts. Okay. Uh, might as well head to the bigger of the two, I'm guessing. Or, okay, so you... or we could, I could scout out on my horse, because obviously a horse can move for there in probably like an hour or something. Yeah, yep, uh, um, I could move closer and then come back and then like go to each, sort of, and then make up my mind. But I'll, I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask Louis what he thinks. Do you, do you think we should, I should scout ahead to each town, or should we just both start heading over to one?
Louis says you should probably go to the bigger one. All right. Well, we'll do that then. We'll we'll head okay, on over so there. So you're gonna head off to the big one. Yeah. Cool. So you head off over here. And um, has <clears> our mo- has our um, mollusk started pulsating at all, or anything? Has your what? The mollusks, the the little thing we have in the tubes on the top of our spears that they like pulsate whenever there's any sepsis nearby or any spore. No, no, they're not not yet. Okay, cool. Not yet. <laughs> you're 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 quite well away from the spore at the moment. Yeah, those are the uh, the orange spots on the map, eh? Yeah. Yeah. This is just a basic bit of spore beds. Gonna have to do a selfie about that. <laughs> oh, nice. Anyway, as you as you enter the town, you notice that it's, it seems to be thriving relatively well. Um, it sort of looked like a trading hub where essentially farmers come together to trade their wares, and there is a big, well, as as with most of these places, there's a big tavern in the centre, which is where everything's centred around. All right. Uh, is it, so? Is it, uh, is it just all clanner stuff, or is there any sign of any of the cults? Cult there is regalia. A there are um, there are a few like um, sorry, there are a few cults around, um, different cults around. Everybody seems to be getting food from here because it seems to be the only place they can find it where it's not poisoned. Hmm. Okay. So how 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 many buildings in the town would there be, roughly? Um, you're looking at around 50, 60 buildings. Okay, so it's a pretty decent size. And yeah, I yeah, like I said, it's a per- there's a permanent settlement. Um, it's, it's obviously been there for a little while. Okay, yeah. And, um, it's, attract- it's attracting a lot of people living there, and, and uh, you know, if there's a decent amount of trade happening. Yeah, okay, that's that's good. So, so everything seems relatively fine. Uh, we'll take, a, both of us will take... Um, I'll signal for Lewis to take his player in with the mollusks around one half of the town, and I'll I'll walk around the other half of mine, and we'll see yep. if we can detect any sign of any um, spore. Okay. Um, as you are walking around the town, you notice that as you're getting to the south side, that your your mollusk starts to. Um, this starts to pulsate a little bit. Not, not not very much, but a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so it's taking faint traces at the moment. It's not getting it's excited, just agitated. Okay. Alright, so um, once I meet back up with um, Louis, yep. uh, we will. Tell him yeah, I'll tell him that in the south side that my mollusk started detecting the presence of the sepsis. Okay, so you want to investigate? Yeah, we want to investigate. All right, so I want you to um, both of can you have both of you do a perception for me, please? Yeah, uh, I think we're still rubbish at this. Oh well, two successes and one success from him. Okay, cool. So you eventually, well, as you're sniffing around and, and watching as your as your uh, as your mollusks react slowly to the presence of what you think is either a small patch of spore or potentially an old burn site. Yeah. And you can see that there's very def- very definitely been human activity quite recently. Hmm. So are we, are we still in town or out of town now? You're sort of at the you're sort of at the outskirts of the south side now. Like at the back of the buildings, you can like you're you're getting that's where you're getting the strongest readings. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna put on the music. That, um, where's the music? Oh, oh yeah, here's the music. No, no, not there. There we go. The millennial thinker stuff because I thought that was pretty damn good music for. Oh this. yeah, I'm gonna put some on too actually. <laughs> yeah, I was just like thinking, I'm like, this is kind of quiet. I need something. Music's always the answer. Have you watched any of them? Any of you think are actual? Um, yeah, um, yeah, I did. Ones? They're pretty. They're pretty, pretty funny. I like the um, I like the the gamer one. Uh, which one was that? The the one you posted. Yeah, where it's just like it's because of you. 
it's because of you I lost the game. It's because of you. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny. Uh, but, okay. There we go. All right, yeah, that was so fucking. I cracked up for that. Except I love the part where she. I love how she's like. I, it's like, if I was them, I would be in the corners waiting for you. And then he's like, no, they will not be in the corners. Get shot. Oh, I got shot by somebody in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny. Don't you use hacks? No, I use this thing. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's a hack. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's funny. Funny, funny. Anyway, uh, Spore, Spore, Burnside, maybe. Yeah. That's as much as you know at the moment. Hmm. I think we're going to have to employ the help of uh, somebody better suited to tracking, I think. You want to find a tracker? Yeah, some form of tracker. Okay, so you, you want to, I'm assuming, basically make your way to the marketplace and, and make inquiries. Yes. In, okay. In a code, it is. Um, we both might as well. Oh, he has. He had a point in perception. God damn it. He had three D6s. Oh, well, good to know for the future. Uh, oh, yeah. And he, no, he doesn't have any talky stuff. Where's my stats? Um, uh, expression or negotiation? Um, I guess negotiate. And like, I'm not negotiating anything yet. I guess expression just to talk to people until I can find something. Yeah, um, I want. Yeah, so let me just have a look at fucking character sheets at the moment. Because I always. The problem with having Adobe Reader is it only lets me open one PDF at a time. Yeah. I have. Oh, uh, mine makes me have multiple. Which one do I have? Oh, no, I have. I don't know, I have Adobe Reader. Oh. I can have multiple PDFs open. You need to update your one, I think. Me to think. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Do me a um, negotiation, please. Um, we're going to see if you can find someone. Yeah. Eh, I know one success. Eh. Uh, I don't know if that counts as a botch. Is it more or equal? I think it's more, it's isn't it? More. It's yeah, more. More. So, so you do find someone, but he's demanding quite a lot of money for your, for your services. Hmm. No luck then. Um, well, Louis doesn't have anything, so I'm not going to ask him to look around. Um, hmm. I guess. I guess we can put like a flyer. Uh, so you said all the cults are present in this town. Is it like all the cults are passing through? Or all the cults have a like a permanent residence here. All the cults have a permanent residence because they want to keep an eye on what's happening. Um, okay, uh, so obviously there's the two best places to go would be either the Spitalians or the Anabaptists. Yep. Um, they're the most likely to help, but of course actually finding shit would probably be, these are the good trackers, so it'd be like the fucking clanners and scrappers, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, don't really have any clan bonuses to them. They're sort of neutral guys. Um, mm. I might as well go to the guys most likely to aid us. So yeah. I'll go to, go to yeah, I'll I'll go to our own my own clan first. I'll own cult first. Sorry, the uh, battalions, mm -hmm. and I will go to whoever's whoever's in charge. I'm guessing I outrank most of the people here. Uh, yes, you, you outrank everybody there. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm not going to start pushing, pushing them around, but I'm going to um, ask if they, if anybody knows of any reputable trackers and that we are currently investigating a massive um, burn smuggling operation. Ah, in that case, we may actually have a way of help you. Let me... Um... If you just take a seat here, um, I'll be back with someone soon. Awesome. <laughs> I'll take a seat. Um, you, yeah, so you take a seat and um, seeing as everybody seems to know who you are, um, a lot of the Spitalians are, are a little bit in awe of you. So I'm 
Fair enough. Assuming. I, I assume. should have six renown. <laughs> yeah, like, you, like everybody in the world knows who you are. <laughs> I know. Like what? <laughs> I, it's really I, was, I, was, I, was, I was really trying to yeah. I was like, how does everybody know who you are? So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna make him explain it. <laughs> yeah, cause I, I, I. The funny thing is, I yeah, I got rid of fucking famous, cause I was like, I need, I need to be able to have just a little more force, a uh, little more uh, points. But it's like I have six. I have six renown anyway, so I'm already pretty fucking famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh, well, how do you, yeah. how do you go about this? <laughs> yeah, and I thought patron was better, so I have, I'm working directly for somebody, and that gave me the four skill points so I could have force. Because if I couldn't increase yeah. my force, I literally couldn't uh, wear all my gear. I need the extra yep. force just to push it up, and then I forgot I should get some projectiles so I can actually use my gun. Because yeah. I need yeah. to. <laughs> but yeah, veteran and vindicated. So I've fought some shit and vindicated. Something bad happened, and I managed, managed to prove my innocence. But people are still sketchy, so that's why I sort of came up with my story. Yeah, we fought a fucking psychovore. Everyone died except me, and everyone was like, "Hmm, why did you survive?" And then they did tests, and it's like, "Oh, you're fine." But everyone's still like, "Hmm, hmm, hmm." <laughs> Anyway, so your uh, battalion friend comes back, and he has brought with him a scrapper. Ah, very good. And the scrapper's name is Rowan. Rowan? Yep. Uh, so Rowan is a friend. Rowan, scrapper. And he's a, he's a mechanist, rank three. Oh, okay. Mechanist. And that's R3. Oh, another person to add to the party. I should probably invest in leadership now. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so much to spend XP on. Yeah, because there's we're, uh, so much to spend XP on. Because <laughs> oh. I was like, I need yeah. to get up perception, survival, and probably leadership now. <laughs> uh, all the things. All right. Well, hello, Mr. Rowan. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hello. I hear you are looking into bird. Uh, yes. Ah. Well, I suppose you've come to the right place then. Well, do tell us. You see, well, quite recently, as the town has been growing, I've noticed that there's been a lot more burn shells around lately. There's definitely been people using here. Do you know where it's likely coming from? Well, there are some spore fields about two days to the southwest from here. Any of their mother spore fields yet? They're not that big yet. They are growing. Well, I have um, I brought some fungicide to hopefully help, but we will probably need a lot more to deal with a field. At least it's a small one. We can deal with those. Mm, I have a feeling it's more than just one. Yes. Unfortunately, I do think we will need need a lot of. Uh, I may need to send another message to Destructor Force, uh, but for main things, getting rid of the actual burn itself and whoever's going into the spore fields to collect the crusps. You know, you're not the first two people. You're not the first people to come through here. Really? Who else? Who yeah. else has come through? The two other wanderers came through a few days ago. Really? Looking for the same thing. Well, they were heading over that way. I wasn't sure what they were looking for, but they appeared to be interested in something. Huh. Well. Interesting news. Do you know what who they were? Mm, they didn't give me their names. They were quite secretive. Huh. Well, do you need at least know uh, their cults? I think one was Franco and one was a Sp hyper Spanian. Ah. Well, that's a... Yeah, it's the same as me and Louis here, hey? Oh, very weird. That is weird. <clears throat> well, we, we... So we heard well, you were a good tracker. Ah. Uh, mm, maybe not so good a tracker, but I know the area well. <clears throat> well, that's... 
that's good enough to help us for our immediate um, immediate uh, what the fucking word I'm looking for? Well, for our immediate problem, I guess. Oh well, should we be on our way then? Yes, yeah, best we get this done with as fast as possible. Um, so it's now about two o'clock in the afternoon. All right. And with your uh, with your friend's help, you actually managed to make some pretty good time. Because he okay. knows the best way through. So what he, I'm gonna. Okay. I've got to have to keep track of him as well. No, no. So that's where you are at the end of the day today. <clears throat> okay. Now, what I want you to do is, as you're preparing camp, I want you to do a perception check, please. Okay. It's my perception. Rubbish. And then his perception. Oh, okay. So we did well. And Scrapper is going to do it too. Holy crap. Scrapper gets, um, Scrapper fucks up. Oh yeah, he Rowan, doesn't see shit. Yeah, he doesn't. Rowan, 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 Rowan somehow manages to get lost as you're, as you're, um, as you're setting up camp. And, uh, yeah, you have no idea where he is. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, we'll start uh, yeah. setting up camp and hopefully the smell of uh, us cooking up some of the jerky into a stew alerts him. Okay. Oh, well. let, me, let me do this again. Let's see. Let's see if he notices. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's definitely. Uh, he definitely smelled the jerky. <laughs> Yeah, he's on his way. Yep, he's so he comes up over the, just just strolling through the grass. Ah, I can smell your cooking. I was just out for a walk. Best not to walk so close to spore fields, my friend. Ah, uh, we're not at the spore fields yet. Well, you want to uh, want to have a bowl here? Hmm, I suppose I will. Sorry, oh. So you will have something. To eat. Yeah, all that's on eight. I guess that's uh, another like seven fifty gone. Uh, yep. Oh, now I'm just gonna. Mm, carnivorous diets, man. Woo! Nice. That's either really, really good or really, really bad. It's really, really good. Oh, uh, awesome. The smell of your uh, the smell of your food seems to be attracting local wildlife. Okay, what type of wildlife are we talking about here? You're talking about, you know, it's relatively small carnivorous things like weasels, stoats, and all that kind of thing. Uh, you how... can see them. You can see them just rolling, like, rocking around the outside, out, outskirts of your camp. Oh, fair enough. Uh, Rowan, uh, how, how, how good are you at making uh, small traps? Ah. Hmm, pretty good, I think. Well, uh, let's put your tra uh, trap making skills to the test. How many of these do you reckon you could catch? Well, I reckon I could get uh, three or four. Well, it'll help re if you do help replenish our stocks here, and we'll have some nice, oh. my nice furs to go along with it. I suppose I should, seeing as I've you fed me. <clears throat> Right, so he gets four successes. Trigger. One trigger. Very nice. So, yep, he's going to set a bunch of traps out on the grass line. Very good. And uh, now I suppose you want to settle down for the night then? Yeah, might as well. Cool. So, um, yep, you wake up in the morning, and... All right, let's see. So we've got four. Cool, so you managed to catch three stoats, oh. which is enough food for three people. Nice. 
Well, they'll mix up the variety of the meal at the very least. Yeah, why not? Um, do we want to dry them up or? It's up to you. How do you want to cook them? You can you can smoke them. You can roast them. You can boil them. Uh, you well, can salt. Yeah, I guess uh, drying them, uh, turning them into jerk as well is probably the best uh, preservation yep, method. Yep. yep. So you're gonna make some fucking like jerky jerky stoats on a stick or something. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, sounds good to me. And that can go with our wolf jerky. <laughs> yep, so that's another yeah, 750 you've just had, so pretty much just wipe out what you just took off. Yeah. If we can get some edible... And how, how, how good is this guy's survival skill? How's this got one now? How good is his survival skill? Uh, his survival skill is pretty good. Uh... How about, uh, before we cook it, uh, Ronan, how, how good are you at getting, uh, how, how much do you know about the local berries here? Mmm, not so much the berries, not many berries here, but I'll tell you what, there is a lot of. What? There's a lot of edible grasses. Oh, grasses. Eh, yeah, I should do, the berries are mostly for flavour, how, how good do these grasses taste? Ah, uh, there's all sorts of wonderful flavours. It's like having herbs. Ah, very good. Well, uh, let's go and make uh, yeah. fucking. Let's turn all of the stoat stuff into pemmican. Yep. Cool. Right. I'm gonna do this. Let's mix it up. And there you go. Bang, 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 bang. Yep. You go. You have made some fucking pemmican. Sweet. So we've got pemmican and jerky, and let's mix it up a bit. Yep. And so with the, with the amount of, like, there's a lot of edible grass as well. Yeah. So. Like it's just picked a bunch of it that you can just like cook into your stews as vegetation. Mm. Yeah. You know, so how much? Uh, so we'll add. So add another. Add another. Um, okay. Because it's one, It's normally one to one for um, pemmican. So if we had seven fifty, we should have made one one point five kgs for pemmican. And then how much yep. grass? Plus. Uh, add, add, another, add another kilo. Five uh, kg pemmican. So, can uh, and how how so how much vegetation? Another kilo. Another so yeah, kilo. kilo kg of, of veggies. Don't think it's really veggies, but hey, it's something not it, meat. It's fiber. <laughs> it's, it's fiber. fiber. It's good. Yeah, it's fiber. Remember, this is just survivalism. You're not having fancy meals. No. We this can... is what the real. This is what the real world is like, children. You want to survive in a wasteland? This is how you survive in a wasteland. Yeah, you eat fucking <laughs> jerky and grass. <laughs> That's not even a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's pretty much yeah. Turn any food you can into some pre preserve it some way possible you can. Yeah. Yeah, because I learned like pemmican's pretty crazy for how long you can make that shit last for. Eh? It's like you can oh. have like pemmican with shelf life of like twenty years is like the best you can make. It's like, that's crazy. Yep. Get any food to last that long is ridiculous. At least it's like canned. Even then, canned food eventually goes off. Uh, canned food will only go off if it's made badly. Yeah. If it's if it's perfectly still, it'll stay perfect forever. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, uh, we continue on. Alright, well, let's continue. Alright, so... Your final trek is only going to last a couple of hours as you're very close to your destination. Alright. Alright, what's so the... Are we going to the little spore field or the patch of big spore fields? You're going to the... well... Left or right? Because I'm assuming these are mountains? The yeah, these are mountains. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and the red's the rivers, so... Which way are we going? Rivers or mountain? You're going to the mountain. Ah, yeah, so the one I pinged there. Yeah. And I will, um, as we start to approach, I'll get my fungicide rifle ready with a cartridge of the fungicide. And I'll, yep. cast, I'll tuck another cartridge over to um, Louis to connect up to his. So, yep, so he'll, he'll load his. Alright. And I'll get my sword ready. Uh, have my pistol. I have my pistol and sword on me. 
I'll keep my splayer with the mollusk on my horse, and I have my fungicide bracketal on the horse as well. And we'll just yep, um, yeah. we'll scout it out first. And I'll uh, and Rowan has got his crossbow. Yep. All right, so um, I'm just gonna add something here. grassy plains and when you know I need a token for Ronan that's a pretty small area do you want to make it bigger or is that good size hey. for you do you want to make the map bigger or is that a good is that an actual size you're going for a small that's, one that's, that's, that's what I'm going for at the moment fair enough and uh, see how how okay I'll just zoom in a bit just for anybody who actually watches it uh, can I I can fit the whole thing in the screen very good And yep, okay. Well, that's good for. Yep, I've got the whole screen on the screen, so. Cool. Just need more right, tokens. Just... Yep. Oh, there's a Genesis Funk Pack. What's that? There's a Genesis Funk font, uh, font Pack. Like if I could just use Is that. It? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, I can upload that to fucking thingy. Oh, that's good to know. That'll, that'll be make it look much better for um, uh, what's it, whatever it's called. YouTube shit. Okay, hang on back. Let's just extract here. All right, well, um, let me know when you've got everything working. Get everything we want to see on the screen. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to draw a fucking border. We're at the mountains at the moment. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do it freehand. What am I doing? There we go. Da 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 bad boys Let's see I'm just having to make a character very quickly because that didn't quite go the way I was expecting it to oh, what, what, what do you expect I wasn't expecting um to use scrapper as a friend of yours you oh, just... was he meant to be <laughs> an enemy yeah but you kind of just so, just bear with me a moment while I quickly create a character using the lovely Genesis character creator. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be your foe.
Fall. Mhm, 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 Skeletons. Everyone gets to enjoy the, the musics. So I can see if anyone's uh, talking to us. Make sure not no one's talking to us. Damn. Oh well. I so I thought I should pop over to restream just to check. Restream chat. You saw. I told Joe about green screen and some acoustic foam, eh? What's that? I brought some, a green screen and some acoustic foam. Oh, you did tell me that. Yeah. Having and I also got the um. Yeah, they sorted out my um order for the Genesis Core rulebook. Oh man. Yeah, so again, there I got the 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 fancy black and gold one, which was like two hundred euros, and then I got the artifacts book as well, because they came in a bundle, which was like two forty three euros or something, and that was like yep, like a four hundred bucks or some shit. Yeah, the green screen and thingy cost me like, it's funny because the the shipping for Amazon was almost exactly the same as the actual items themselves. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, it was like everything together cost me like a hundred and twenty, and then the shipping was like ninety dollars or something ridiculous. All right, cool. We've got our, we've got our, uh, yep, our encounters sorted. All right, sweet. All right. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Cool. You are challenged. Dun, 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 no, dun. not him. <laughs> yep. You are challenged. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I could ask the same thing to you. Well, I asked first. Well, I'm here to investigate the Baron smuggling operations. I'm assuming you're going to have something to do with this, aren't you? I have no idea what you mean. Oh, well then, since I've told you while I'm here, why are you here? I'm just here for a nice refreshing walk in the mountains. This close to a spore field? What spore field? What are you talking about? No spore field here. Oh, is, is our intel wrong here, Rowan? I, I seem to think uh, all our intel points to being a spore field over here. There absolutely is a spore field here. Uh, as I thought. So, sir, do you mind explaining why you're here? 
Like I said, I didn't know there was a spore field here. Right. And uh, where where do you happen to be from, sir? Well, I'm neither here nor there, mate. Hmm. Well, uh, you gotta excuse me if I have some skepticism, but if you do nothing, with, if you don't fuck with us, we won't fuck with you. Now, we're gonna destroy a spore field. You're either in our well, way. Only... Sorry. The only spore field around here is to the west. Well, then you won't mind us exploring over here for the spore field that we believe. If it's not there, then, well, we'll head west. <laughs> Well, I'd rather you didn't. Oh, why is that, sir? This is my space. My space? I thought you said you were from here, neither here nor there. Right, but I like this place, so I'm staying here. Well, it seems we're at an impasse, sir. Hmm, it appears so. All right, and I'll, so what's going to be? Oh, um, so wait, uh, Rowan has a uh, a crossbow, right? Yep. I I um I I sort of like nod to him, and I'll I'll see if he sort of figures out what I want him to do. Mm. Expression. Okay. Let's... Expression. I'm guessing. Let's... Yep. Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, three successes. That's not bad. Okay, so yeah, Rowan well, knows what to do, and he is going to fire off his crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so that's going to be the surprise, and then we're going to have to roll on this two after that. Yeah. So you have... One, two, three, three successes. Cool. And that is versus. Um, so that is cool. And then the damage is six, and it is reduced by. Okay, cool. Um, roll initiative, please. Fair enough. Uh, four. Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. Three successes for me. Ooh, he got zero, but he, and he botched, so I'm guessing he's going. Rowan's going last again. Um, he's going to spend uh, an ego point to get another roll. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Ego points. I can need to remember that's a thing. Um, so just add an extra die. So, oh, yep. So he definitely goes first, and he gets two actions. Gets yeah, I mean, two I could do that. I, I think I should spend some ego, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna spend the max I'm gonna go three so then I get seven die. Yeah. I okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Four successes. Um, he still gets before me though, and I don't get an extra action. Damn. Yep. I need to mark that off though. I've got three going to your damage. <clears throat> uh, so we are going to you. You are going to get shot at with a lovely hunting rifle. Nice. So that is going towards um. Uh, send out Zalia. Yeah. Um, two successes. Oh, so yeah, that's fumble. No, it's not. No, it's not. Like it's the same. Yeah. So he he hits. Yep. Yeah. Because obviously it's two what? defense. Obviously he hits because yep. one passive and then one active, so it's two. So yeah. Uh huh. Um. So that is. Hold on. Where are we? Uh. Oh, Six hang damage. on. Um, should I spend an... I'm going to spend my action to go active defense, uh, and then I get to add my mobility to my um, defense roll. Uh, where is it? Mobility is four. Oh, no. Six. Okay, so I get six die to oppose him. Yep. Uh, one success, so that makes it... That just makes him... Is it... Hang on. Is it... Diff I'm going to check exactly how that works. So I spent my action to get active. Uh, sorry, people. Um, it's act active defense. Uh, active defenses. OK, 
counter attack or comp skills use if you're unplugged or uh, lost three. No, I don't care about the active defense. Five guys, one action to a separate pair to try to be attacked. Always race, spring duck and take up a single action of active defense to use the side one's turn. Certified as being attacked against active defense before his own turn, he loses one action. You could take it otherwise. Own last time, our last action. Um, anyhow, I take three action afterwards. If I use active defense, he enters a conflict with the thing. Being shot, then he uses agility plus mobility and melee defense with thingy. Da, da, da. So try and dodge with agility plus. Yeah, okay. Since active defense cuts is active, the fighter cannot use active defense. Or well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He uses passive defense against any further attack. Okay, so no, uh, he still hurts. Okay, no. Nah. Because it just makes a opposed roll. Oh, hang on. Counter. Blocked with combat skill. And oh, that's only a melee. Okay, never mind. Yep, so he still hurts, damn. That's a waste of an action okay. for me. Damn. Okay, yeah. so that was a... Did you take damage? Yeah, how much damage do I take? Six. And, and then minus reductions are yeah yeah so i take four damage <coughs> uh, how much do i have uh so i have flesh wounds one two three four. okay i have a lot of flesh wounds so yep and then the next one is going towards um rowan so it's gonna be another once you get there oh shit six successes oh, oh that's the wrong way around <laughs> yeah yeah that's the wrong way he only got one success Oh, two yeah. successes, uh, you got two successes. Two successes, okay, so two successes against um, Rowan's... Against... Depends no, if Rowan no. wants to spend an action to oppose it or not. Yeah, I think Rowan will spend an action to oppose. Yeah. So that's going to be uh, agility, mobility. Yeah, agility plus mobility. <laughs> Which is... Five, uh, three successes. So oh, yeah, yeah, that's he a beats pass. It. Yeah. So yes. he beats it. So that's a damage for him. Cool. So now it is. Oh, I forgot to roll fucking Rowan's. Um, <laughs> did I roll? Uh, hang on. Roll, yeah. Did you? Uh, no, I think you just went straight into a surprise round. Uh, where yeah, are we? So we're there, there. Now was when he yeah. did, made the shot. Yeah, so you just went straight into a surprise round. Yeah, so Rowan needs to roll his fucking initiative. initiative. Um, <clears throat> Remember, you can right-click on um, the portraits and go add turn if you want to keep track of initiative that way. Oh, but then I have to do it like every fucking... Yeah, every time, yeah. I mean, it, you don't have to do it round to round, it's just, um, obviously, round to round you just change the number. Yeah. So it just uses the same system as Shadow Run. Up. Um, I oh, usually get three successes, so that's right. No, it's not. Oh, I need to fucking do the initial order thing. Um, yeah, it's not too hard. Don't go in. I've just never tried to use it before. That's all. Yeah, obviously I can't do it for anything here because um, I'm a player. It's not letting me fucking do the thing. Uh, Oh, well, we're going to do all that for the moment. Um, hold on, I'll just do this thing. Uh, so, let's just look at it again. <laughs> uh, we're good at this. Yeah, we're good. At, I mean, this is only our second game. This is the first time we've done combat, so. Okay, so that's zero successes on that one. So <laughs> he goes a lot. He goes, I guess he goes before thingy. Okay. He goes before Rowan, at least, because Rowan botched us. Yep. <laughs> It so doesn't say about what happens with botched rolls for initiative, but I assume botched rolls means you go last. You just go dead last, I'm assuming. Or, yeah. or should have. Or you missed your turn, fuck those. <laughs> yeah, I'd, 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 I probably wouldn't be that harsh just because that, can, that would yeah, be really horrible. <laughs> Whoever gets them goes to the end, basically. Yeah. Cool, right, so that's. Um, so, oh, yeah, so let's send that to Elias' turn. Uh, so, who's on my turn? Yep. So, um, obviously I spent a turn to go in to do active defense so I lose my yep. action um, yep. and then I, I guess it goes back to it goes to Rowan and he spent his turn to do an active defense so the only one who can go is our good friend uh, fucking uh, Louis here uh, yep. what was Louis's yep. stats again movement 3 meters 
Oh, he's going to get a plus one to his initiative at, the, um, at defense, so he can go. He might as well charge up, eh? Yep. Oh, that, that increases his fucking defense by one, though, because he moved more than two meters. Cool. So, um, so it's time to roll initiative again. Yeah, so uh, I got four. Should I spend... Oh, no, hang on. Didn't he spend... Hang on. He spent... He's the one who spent... Um... Yeah, yeah, because then my two initiatives, then he spent... So he's got he got two sixes. No, he he didn't get botched at all. That's right, he got five successes. That's what the four, four, oh. five, six, six was. Because remember you said he spent ego to add an extra die. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so um, he gets a fucking another turn. Uh, one, two, he's three. His... No, because he gets two actions, because he got two sixes. So he got the extra action. And yes, he, so he's had the action. Yeah, that was his first action. Then he gets his second action. <laughs> he shot twice. No, no, because Ro Roland only has a melee weapon, remember? No, the, um, what's his... The, oh, he, um, okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant out, and you told me that thing he was spinning and go. Right, okay, I get what you no. mean now. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just... Yeah. Um, but, so uh, I'm I'm, I'm, as I said, I think he might as well spend some ego points to actually go. So, we're both going to spend maximum ego points to go. Oh, my God. I got three actions this turn to do. Man. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. And then same thing for Louis. Oh, my God. He's got two actions. Jesus Christ. Cool. Seven uh, successes. Uh, That's crazy. <laughs> this is... Um, oh, yeah. He gets two. He gets two. That is um, 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 Rowan. Yeah. And then... Um, our good friend here is going to burn another couple of... Couple of ego points to ego go. points. Do I have one, two, three, one, two, three? Okay, I have two more ego points left. Mm. Nice. And then he gets four and only one action. Cool. <laughs> Damn. So, uh, Louis, uh, <laughs> Louis, 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 Louis goes Louis first. first. Uh, so he can obviously move. Uh, here, and he's got a range with his weapon's got uh, to reach, doesn't it? Someone just text me. <laughs> I, forgot to find, I, know, I forgot to do that. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something very quickly. Sorry, interrupt um, everything. Oh, you're all good, man. Um, My dog coins going up, yo, my dog coins going up, yeah, dog coins going up, yeah, my dog coins going up. Sorry, I'm back. Hang on, let me just put my headphones back on. Sorry, um, as far as checking, uh, this player has range two meters, doesn't it? Oh, da, 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 da. Distance two, yeah. What does it have? So he can now stay a little bit away, so he's going to move two. So one, two, so he still gets the bonus from making moving two meters. And then he, second action, he makes an attack. Um, 
what was his bonus? It was uh, four, four dice. Oh, two successes. So, he... yeah, that's a hit. Uh, so then he does two successes, six damage. Very nice. Alright, nice. And then I guess it's my turn now. Yep. Okay, so what was my movement? Um, movement, movement, movement. Turn, don't turn off screen, please. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I find out how far I can move? I know it's body, body plus. I think so, was it mobility? Shit. Uh, hang on, this is why we have rule books up. Um, movement. Movement. Uh, moves more than two. Okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. Previous. Movement does not use up an action. Does not use up an action. Ah, oh, okay, sure. Okay, per round, his maximum movement is body plus athletic meters. But between actions and using any combination, however, the maximum. Ah, uh, okay, so he should have had a minus two when he did that, but you get plus one to your passive defense. Okay, well, I'm going to have to move four anyway. Ah, uh, da 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 We'll just go squares, bro. Yeah. Uh, what was my buddy? Oh, my buddy's four. Then I get a minus two, so I might as well. Um, how far is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight? Eight away from me. Or well, nine, actually. Nine away. I'd have to shoot through, so I'm going to have to uh, hop down one Hang on. yeah I might as well hop down one and then take a sh <clears throat> yep do I want to take a shot or do I just want to charge him and if I was to take a shot um, so that's 46s yep and I might as well spend all my actions oh, okay hang on four successes right there does he want to oppose me uh, no, he's not going to oppose it. Okay, uh, so my pistol does... Pistol does nine damage. Um, he is dead. Sweet. Bang. Cool. Nice. Uh, well, we might as well uh, loot him as well, since he had a gun. Yep, um, right, so he has on him... A, a mace. Okay, let's write this shit down. So he has a mace. A hunting rifle, uh, he said as well, eh? Yeah, hunting rifle. And how much? How many bullets? Um, he's got five bullets. Five bullets. Yep. And anything else yeah. of note? He has a leather armor. Leather armor. That'd be good to barter or sell. Um, and he also has a rope, a compass, a periscope, and a carrying rig. Okay, um, rope. So another 10 meters of rope. Um, what did you say? A carrying rig. A rig. A compass. Uh, what else did you say? Carrying rig, compass. And a, a, a periscope. Periscope. Okay, so we've got some... Tra uh, navigation tools. That's nice. Yep. Very nice. Um, so how are we going to divvy this up? Um, so obviously might as well give Ronan some loot. Um, uh, he, uh, he has he has no need for a compass or, or a periscope. He already has he already has them. Okay. Well, we'll take them as well. Um, um, does he want the mace? 
um, yeah, he, oh, do you want the mace? Um, I, I, I think, um, because how, how much, how much better is a mace to, for thingy, um, I see. It's a 5 uh, Obviously, that's just, um, that's for him in and particular. Still, I just yeah. want to see mace compared to, okay, mace has no bonuses, um, or penalties. It's blunt. Um, I'm thinking I should hand, maybe... I'll see if does Louis want the mace. It does the same damage as his player. Obviously, it doesn't have the triggers, but it has no um, no disadvantage, and obviously, it's a shorter weapon. So. Okay, so you're gonna give him this. You're gonna give him the mace. Yeah, it's a sidearm. Okay. Um. So what what would be his stats for that? Four D. Four plus um, F divided by two. Oh, actually, oh, that's shall we? His, that's the... Yeah, for survival two. Actually, uh, backtracking because yep. we'll be giving him the hunt. We'll give um, Louis definitely should have the hunting rifle since he has no ranged weapon at all. Uh -huh. Apart so from the, give him the hunting rifle. Yeah, so we'll give him the hunting rifle, and because if we give Louis the hunting rifle, then we should probably give um, does does our mechanic friend have a melee weapon of his own? He's got a hand axe, but he can definitely use the mace instead. Yeah. Okay. So we'll hand him the mace as a. So I think. Um, cool. Does he already have a carrying rig? Because obviously he is a um, a scrap. Uh, no, he, he he does not. He okay, does. we'll give him the carrying rig since we have the horse. So, mace carrying rig. So here are the mace. Here are the carrying rig. Um, keep the yep. compass and periscope. Does he want the rope? I have ten rope already. Uh, he's got a rope. He's got a rope. Uh, Louis doesn't have rope, so we'll give that to Louis. Yep. Uh, hunting rifle to Louis. Uh, leather armor, we don't need that because we both have our uniforms. Which is the same yep. armor value. So does does he need armor? Um, he's got armor. Okay, so we'll sell that then when we can. Yep. So hunting rifle for Louis. Um, what else did Louis take? Uh, I took the hunting rifle and the rope. And, and the rope. And cool. the compass and the periscope will just keep um, like between us, I guess. We'll just put it on the horse. Yep. That's the type of thing for horse carries. I'll put it. I'll put it on Louis because he's not really carrying anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need to change his name from fucking Frank Franka Fabulancer to Louis. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> cool. Right. Yep. So that's um. I suppose the next thing you want to do is make your way into the um into the into the mountain. Yep, we'll get those fungicide rifles at the ready, and um, cool. like, yeah, go fungicide rifle in hand. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of this map. This is gonna be a bit theatre of the mind now. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. That's all good. I'll turn off um, screen so people don't have to look at it. Just being white, they get the nice picture instead. Yeah, I wanted to buy the picture I used as a fucking. I use as the background. I want to buy that as the print, but it was uh, ninety nine euros. I'm like, nah. Oh, true. <laughs> I know everything they do is of really high quality, but it's like uh, ninety nine euros for a poster. Probably not, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's more so to support them, I guess, since they do. I'll put everything up for free. Yeah. Oh well. We'll continue on then. Cool. So, um, as you're walking into the, um, yeah, as you're walking in through the in, in through the, like the gully, I want you to make. I want everyone to make a perception check. Okay, my perception is pretty shit. Uh, it's not even four. I think it's like two, isn't it? Yeah, we both. Have, I have two, and the thing is three. Oh shit. Uh, one success. He got one success. Hold on, Rowan might save it. Yeah, he probably will. Oh, Rowan saved it. Yeah. Good boy, Rowan. Rowan happens to look up and notice a man-sized figure off the top of the cliff before it just rapidly disappears again. Does he point it out to us? <laughs> What's that? I guess he points it out to us. Yeah, he points it out to you and goes, "Ah, I think someone's seen us." Did you get a good look? Not really. They were quite far away. Mm. The spore. How big was the spore field? 
the spore field that's only small is just beginning to grow. Okay. Mm. I'm hoping there's no psychobores uh, guarding it. They normally only go for the bigger ones, so I'm hoping there's none here because uh, I don't very much fancy fighting another one of those. Know about the proper equipment anyway. Mm, I would hope there aren't any here. I'm really not up for anything like that today. No. Okay, well... Around, we'll... This, around this time, you know, it's that the sun's starting to set. Well, we definitely want to get this done even at night. We don't want to spend too close to the spore field. Even if we push okay. through the night. Alright, well, we'll get the fungicide rifles at the ready. And uh, we'll press forward into the... Um, into the the, the spore field. Everyone's okay. on high alert. So yep, you're you're gonna watch in together. Yeah. As you start as you narrow start walking your way around one of the narrow corridors in the in the cliffs, you start to notice there's an orange glow. Orange glow. Hmm. Any idea what that could be, Rowan? Hmm. He is going to do a survival check. Oh. I believe that is fire. Oh. Well, you're definitely more perceptive than I am, it seems. That's, um, uh, are, are you stealthier than us? Uh, what's his, what's his, um, stealth? Uh, does he have any stuff? It is just called stuff, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's uh, under... Yeah, under agility. Okay, I have four dice base. Yeah, um... Hold on, let's have a look. He has three. Yeah, okay, so I'm the best. Um, yep. I might as well be the one to try and sneak forward. Uh-huh. Um, watch my backs, sirs. Two successes. Okay, that's okay. Okay, that's good. So you're, you, you, you slowly make your way around the corner and you can see what looks to be a bunch of people with flamethrowers. Ah. Uh... Oh, well, they were flamethrowers. I'm going to naturally assume these guys are Anabaptists. <laughs> okay. Could go, go on a hunch here. Uh, assuming a bunch of guys are flamethrowers in the spore field. Probably not the ones harvesting it. Uh, what, what, do they, what do they look like? Um, you can't really see because of the fact that they're silhouetted against the flames. But the, uh, I could tell they all have flamethrowers? Did they have, like, Sorry? But how do I tell they all have flamethrowers? Do they all have like canisters on their backs or something? Oh, you can see that you can see the jets of fire coming out from front of them. Oh, okay, they're actually actively burning stuff. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I'll I'll call out to um to oh I guess everybody, but mostly to um to uh, Rowan and Louie. Yeah. And I go. I believe we have found some friends with a common cause. Okay, um, you see a couple of people on the sidelines notice you, <laughs> and then they scurry away quite quickly. Ah, oh, okay. Um, um, I'm, I'm assuming our mollusks on our splays are going absolutely fucking nuts. What's that? I'm assuming the mollusks are going absolutely fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah, they're going a bit haywire. <laughs> yeah. Um... Can everybody roll perception, please? Uh, yes. My awful perception. Oh, one success. Uh, one success. Oh, three successes from... Um, okay. Uh, Rowan, Rowan and Louis both grab you on the back and, like, grab you on the back and say, we need to leave. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll leave back into the... We'll go back into the... Uh, where we came from, I guess. Yep. Um... As you turn around, you hear you hear um, loud shouts and voices as um, 
what appears to be a large group of people um, gathering behind you. All right, well, we'll ask. Hey, who, who are they? Uh, sh- uh, ask me that. These, these are not. The, the, these are not Anabaptists. These are. I, I think we've come across a major smuggling operation here. Uh, why the hell would they be burning everything though? So they don't have to leave. But if they burn the spore field, then won't they have nothing there? No, no, no. They just burn it away in the evenings. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Alright, well, let's haul ass. Sorry? Yeah, well, we're all hauling ass then, I guess. You're hauling ass? Um, I want everybody to um, do me. Athletics, I'm guessing. Uh, What's that? Athletics, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I want everybody to do athletics. Okay, so I got four, he got three. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that's definitely not good. Um, and Brian's actually only got two. Okay, we're all for like running. He succeeds. Succeed. So um, Rowan actually manages to get ahead of you. Um, Louis stumbles a little bit and uh, and send that send us earlier. Kind of like manages to scurry off. Um, Shit. The next thing you hear is a gunshot. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep on running. Yep. Um, roll, roll another athletics, please. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to roll one for thingy? Ooh. Yes, please. Oh, okay. He did well. Cool. Um, yep. So you're all you're all up and running. Um, luckily for you, it's now night time. Yeah. Um, so, how how do you want to proceed? Um, I I will. I'm guessing we sort of have a moment respite as. Oh, you're not that far out of the cabin yet. Like you're, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. Um, like this, you're, you're I, I, as we're going, and I'm guessing we're all, all roughly together still, though. Yeah, like you're all together now. Uh, do you still have that? Uh, the what, what was it called? The, the fucking phosphorus. Um, he had it. I saw it in his inventory. He had the the fire dust. Do you still have your fire dust? Yes. Yes. Um. Or, or chlorine gas. I think chlorine gas would probably be more fucking useful here. Uh. Yeah. Um. Just chlorine gas. Yeah. Just a fucking. Load up the chlorine gas and just spray it up there as we run. Cover our uh, cover our retreat with the chlorine gas. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's a good idea. So you just you just tear gas the area behind you. My well, fucking more than tear gas. It's fucking chlorine gas, bro. <laughs> it's like fucking... yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I know. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. So as we're running, yeah, he's just gonna fucking cover our retreat with the chlorine gas, and then we're going yep. to. And then you're gonna and then you're gonna haul ass. Haul um, ass. So, yep. Um, I'm going to uh, tell them to run straight to town, and I'm going to get on my horse. Yep. I'm going to sort of make a bit of distance, but I'm going to see it so see it so I'm clearly visible because obviously I'm on a horse, so I'm a bigger silhouette in the night. Uh huh. And okay, then so I'm going to sort of head towards the um, head towards. Hang on, where's your? Um, do you still have the map up? No, you don't. Um, I'm going to head towards yeah, the west. No, is it I'll west? Put it up. Yeah, where so it looks like I'm heading towards the other field, uh, the other spore fields, and then I'm going to uh, backtrack towards the largest town on the horse. Okay, cool. Hold on, we'll just put that back up there. Cool. So, so then gonna, you're gonna go back. So I'm gonna make it look. So obviously we don't have our things anymore, but um, obviously we're here. So I'm gonna. Is that one there? Hit, and yeah, one? yeah. It was like there, and then there's a smaller one there. Uh, so obviously I'm going to make it look like I'm heading this way, and then, like when I'm about when I'm about to get to the river, I um, backtrack over there. So. So these guys are just going to go that straight there, and you're going to sort of. Basically, because since I obviously have a larger silhouette, you're going to sort of do I'm that basically going to use it so they see me running off. Like, yeah, they won't see me sort of running towards this way, but then I'm just going to loop around. Oh, so, you, so you want to go like? Because yeah, obviously, then... obviously we're here, so. I'll, hang on, I'll draw. So obviously, um, they're going like the. Okay, no, I want the fucking draw, draw freehand. 
So obviously they're going to go like this. I'm going to go like this and then backtrack like that. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Since I'm on a horse, I'm hoping they'll just see the horse gallop off into the distance, heading towards the other spore field. Then I'm going to loop quickly. Uh, yep. Loop back here. Yeah. Cool. Very <clears throat> good. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yep. Very cool. Um, so that's what you're going to do. Um, you beat. So yeah, you managed to cover your escape. Yeah. Very expertly, I had. Yeah. Very good. I enjoyed that. And you make it back into town. Um, and yeah, I suppose this is where you're gonna part ways with your um, scrapper friend. He's very happy with the with the gifts you've given him. Yeah. I, I, I say we part ways. I say, sorry, I couldn't be of more help. If I had some uh, drafts, I would definitely would have given you some. Ah, that's okay. Yes. It was um, a good adventure. Uh, did, did did he take damage when he got shot with face wounds? Did he take damage? Yeah, did he take damage or did his armor soak it? No, his, arm, his armor soaked it. Oh, that's right. No, he dodged it properly. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I, that's right. yeah I, no, he... he did the active defense. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you ever come across me and you need medical attention, I will offer it freely. Well, excellent. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Time. It's time for me to go now. Yes, yes. Um, and, and obviously, uh, we make our way. I make my way back to the um, to this battalion building. Yep. So you, uh, yeah. So you make your way there, and I suppose you want to go send a message back to the destructive yes. fortress in your, yeah, and your superior. And I'll say we found the the uh, the origin of the smuggling operation, or at least a smuggling operation. Uh, they seem yep. to be the. I'm assume I'm going to go on a hunch and assume I'm going to say obviously we encountered the um, we encountered the one body the one the one person guarding the way up and we fought and killed him um, and then when we went in we found a group of people burning back the sepsis but we assume they're only doing so to keep the spore field small enough that they can keep on harvesting it and but not have it grow out of um, control. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so we and still that... we still don't have confirmation who they are. No, no, no. You just you just know that it's a bunch of people who who were very violent towards your uh, approach. Yeah. And um, yep. So that's going to be the end of your day and the end of today's session. Uh, excellent. Um, all right. Well, if anybody actually ended up watching that, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Um, hopefully um, Kit can join us so we can do the regular session but yeah how good hopefully you'll uh, anybody who watches this does enjoy it because I had fun running it yeah um, I, I, I really had fun obviously we're still m uh, fucking around trying to figure out how the game actually works <laughs> yeah uh, that's the best way to learn how to play a game is play it a few times when you don't really understand it yeah 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 definitely <laughs> All right, well, I'll stop.